In today's episode, how do you do winter web some web welcome? Uh, today I've been up since six o'clock writing about these two operas. Now I'm writing about the Fox Renard, and it's it was written in 1916. So of course I had to read up on the First World War, which I knew sort of nothing about. So that's my life. I'm off to no, I'm off to the shower, but then I'm off to work, and I'm gesticulating with my arms like this. You can't see it. I don't know quite what I'll do at work. Well, I've got stuff to do at work. I think I'm trying to find some people need things to rehearse with. I might try to find some bags and stuff like that. Coming up. This is a sweaty person backstage. One, till the real costumes arrive. Take a look, take a look at my face. This is sweat, not sh a shower. I am sweaty and hot. I bet you didn't think that I was not. I'm a lyricist. Is a sweaty person backstage mimicking Richard Attenborough? David, what happened on the idag? today? Today is fläktning. Bra. Fäktning, fläktning. Fäktning, ja, ja. <laughs> I'm going up into the attic, to the costume department, I guess, to get some caps. Let's try on some caps. One, two, three, hello, oh, hello, four, five, six. Ingen bryr sig, men om du var någonting kallt, vad för någonting skulle det vara? Så då, vad skulle du vara om du, om du var någonting kallt? I don't think that polar bears are colder than any other bear. Must it be hotter because of the snow? Ingen bryr sig, men du får en andra chans. Om du var något kallt, vad skulle du vara? Tigelin. I'm gonna show you something fantastical. This is the makeup department, and look at this. You can just step outside into the glaring sun and watch the life go by. Nej, men de blir fina. Det görs med sne, va? Ja, lite. Hade det där örat varit lite bättre, då hade allt varit. Jag ber om ursäkt. Oh, this is a rehearsal bag that I reinforced with cardboard. It has to be able to stand up. There's a rehearsal going on. For lunch. Today's vegan lunch is a gorgeous baked potato and wait till I dress it up. Coming up. So I see a face. Obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. So look at the oh this really doesn't look as good as it is. It's baked potato with vegan butter, vegan cheese corn and one of the best hummus I'd ever made. <laughs> well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park.
right? He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. The attacker got loose and went out the upstairs window, but he did leave something behind. We got your T-shirt. You didn't left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. A crime scene investigator photographed and dusted for prints on the lid of the garbage can and the window pane and ledge. Dodson says he's never seen the perp before, but sends this warning to whoever is responsible. You don't have to come and confess that you did. We're looking for you. We're we going to find you. I'm letting you know that so you can run and tell that. What's wrong, boy? So they're changing the sets downstairs on this stage, so I thought we, you'd like to check. I'm into the attic again, collecting things that they're gonna use as costumes. Till the real costumes arrive. So, so it. obviously they're using a bike in the show. Well, obviously, but they did in the movie, so I guess this is it. Oh, so people of the interwebs, today, today, now, this hour, I call it quits. I'm done for the week. I'll be back on Monday early, and that's when we start with the costumes in earnest. Coming up. This is my Ingmar Bayman moment. We're drinking wine. What's that? Pizza, snacks, and a hell of a lot of Netflix. People have said that the best thing about Ulf Nordlander is his balcony, and I might agree. I, he, he, he agrees as well. I'm going to show you the view. Look at this view! Since I last was here, Ulf got these two shelves, I guess. From Rusta, no, granite. And look at this very nice balcony. It's kind of enormous. There's a train. Varje gång som tåget går förbi. We're drinking wine. That sounds like something you smoke. Jag tänkte att du ska berätta varför du köpte det här vinet. So I'm going to try to have an Ingmar Bergman moment. This is my Ingmar Bergman moment. Ja. Du är snart hösten på väg. Till och med vinet smakar avslaget. So I see a face. Look at that, that's a face. Skål Nina! Skål och grattis! Happy in the year! Happy in the year? Happy and on the year. Happy on the year! Tack för sällskapet och säg att det var trevligt. Tack för sällskapet.